What's going on? Last night was Bye, friends. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up. Miss. sort of offense. All quality merchandise, I can personally assure you of that. shopping list.
annoying. is at the lot. Station trucks there now, so don't you bother. Have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? San Andreas. 
All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Wonderful. The Dunder is home. Where you from, mister? So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. Hey, hey. Right. Let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Did Public Works change their schedule? Ramus B, bitch! Clean out the van, I got the car. The alarm. 
Cars been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on, good to go. Sounds like they're coming in numbers, homie. They got a panic button, all right. Whole lot of cops on the way. Yeah, you're covered by those barriers there. I'll be up here. Shit, we ain't gonna clear the area. All right, hold the cop. Make a play when we see a window. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Devin Weston. 
package from Mr. Weston. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up? was Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Cab here as soon as possible. I'm sending one out right now. Sounds good, thanks. Gracie, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy, that's all I could do. Dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does two hey, point seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. <laughs> Got it. What up? Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They get a dog with us back here. We got a jet right up behind us. Those ones on the wrong side of the road. They'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Like our shot. 
the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. This officer. Entirely necessary. Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the car. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right. Hey, Frank. Yeah. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? Hey, look, Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Hey, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude Take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. I wouldn't write off Uncle T. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. You leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. 
Oh! oh hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I ain't so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper, Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. I'm sending one out right now. Great. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, 
He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> Up this room. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We're not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fit. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon... Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 